When you look at the, the business ecosystem today, it's very, very, very complex, highly interrelated, uh, and, and highly dynamic. And when you think about uh, laying on top of, uh, of the, the traditional business structure, this, this concept of a complex ecosystem, it really, I think it makes the challenge more difficult because you've got to now coordinate, collaborate, and control the flow of information or business processes maybe across a number of different related party entities. And I think that's causing our clients really to need to step back and think, do they need to approach security over information in intellectual assets in a different way? The key point of having a lot of information assets, the flow of it, the global, global aspect of it, is really stepping back and saying, okay, what intelligence can we bring to bear from a threat perspective? What intelligence can we bring to bear on where our assets are and how our assets are viewed both internally from a value perspective as well as externally, looking at intelligence around how we are operating the business and how that business activity and the behaviors associated with our business activity and correlate that. And what I really like about that comment is, I mean, look, th th this is, these are inputs that are necessary to be able to take a first step. And to be able to t take a first step, you have to take inventory of information. If any company is gonna create a strategy to change business, you have to have inputs to be able to, uh, to, to, to help in the process of actually designing, thinking about designing the next steps forward. What we're hoping our clients will, will start to do is to take that first step and begin to get those, those kind of information inputs, including thinking about security as a component part. Businesses must make certain choices, and that means distinguishing between ideas or data and information that is not absolutely critical and fundamental to the organization's competitive survival. What most people have done is they've protected a lot of transactions and ideas, okay, as well as the core intellectual property, right? So if you're some, you know, food company, there are probably a handful of formulas that you just have to lock down, right? But the rest of what goes on and the rest of what's in the ecosystem much less important. There's an interesting phenomenon in terms of the fact that information and ideas are flowing so fast that there's actually an interesting dynamic that even if you could steal it all or access it all, it's very hard to take it and do something with it in time because there's a new idea that's better and greater by the time you're able to actually react to it. So there, there are a bunch of, so another reason why again, there's really truly only a handful of things that people need to protect at the very, very highest level, and that's what people need to focus on. I think that's a great point, and I had one client describe that as innovation velocity. Yes. Having that movement, that tends to uh, mitigate sometimes the risk associated with, with disclosure. Yes. But again, I think the challenge here is it may, not, it, it, it may not necessarily be an easy exercise to answer the question, what is of great value to an organization? And so, you know, I think this is where, you know, we really hope that our clients begin to start thinking about this issue and really begin to distill the essence of what makes the business uh, different. What, what strategic insights or information are going to have lasting value, maybe five or ten years in the future. And I would say if an organization does not know what those assets are, and more importantly know the assets that they need to be successful and highly competitive in their industry sector, they're missing a boat, and, and that boat is a much more serious boat than whether they have the information security bit right. That means that they're probably not executing on the optimal business strategy. And this is the dialogue that we're having with our clients, and we see the leaders are really, they really get this. They really understand that creating and developing intellectual property and know-how and protecting it properly is integral to being competitive. Mm -hmm.